Hi guys, this is Preeti. This video is going to be about uh, how to take care of your skin, prevent skin tanning, skin darkening when you're going swimming. So uh, this is more of uh, uh, for people who are going to swim on a regular basis like I do. So um, the thing is when you're swimming regularly like on a daily basis or weekly four or five times basis, your skin tends to become really tanned and really dry. It starts affecting your uh, you know normal activities because there's a lot of itching, there's a lot of dry skin and simple things like waxing and shaving become really difficult and they further damage your skin. So this is going to be helpful for those kind of people. Also a little bit about, about my skin so that you can uh, relate to that. I have really dry skin all over my body but my face is really really oily. At the same time I am really acne prone, I have sensitive skin, easily prone to you know rashes and stuff like that. So if you are somebody like that, I hope this video helps uh, a little bit uh, in, in terms of managing your skin and all that. Let's get into the video. The first thing is when you are going swimming on a regular basis. Uh, this kind of swimwear you wear, I would recommend that you buy swimwear which is of good quality, you know, don't compromise on the quality because uh, it's going to affect your skin anyways. Invest in, I would say, full body suits because I know they seem boring and like not interesting when you're in the pool to be covered fully, you know, you want to flaunt your body, you want to look nice and sexy when you're swimming, I get it but if you're swimming on a regular basis, it's really not a good idea. I learned that the hard way. I too went and just bought a really cute uh, piece of, uh, you know, cute one piece and then realized it's doing a lot of damage to my skin. So I ended up going to Decathlon and buying this uh, full sleeves t-shirt swim top, right? It, it, has, it has a high neck, so it covers all the way up to here, which is really good because managing the face, this part and the hands and the feet is really easy because these are things which we wash quite often during the day. So the first thing would be to invest in good quality uh, swimwear. You do get swimwear like this one is anti-UV and anti-chlorine as well. So really when I wear this and swim, uh, the arms part of my uh, body does not get tanned at all. I mean, it does get tanned, but it's like minimal. Uh, even a week of skincare would undo the damage. It's like that. So a uh, good quality top, uh, bottoms all the way and uh, a good cap is a must. That being said about uh, the swimwear, I will do a swimwear haul maybe another time because I have quite a lot now because I swim every day. Let's move on to the skincare. The first thing I do is use some kind of a nice hair mask. I'm using this macadamia hair mask. Uh, this is macadamia natural oil deep repair mask. I know these are not available easily in India, especially in Bangalore. I got this uh, a very long time back. So these are available though, but then they you know come with import and uh, other kind of taxes and they're almost double the price. So if not this, I have tried another one that is uh, Tresemme Spa Rejuvenation, this one. Uh, it's not as good as this one, but it does the job. Basically, you need to make sure the mask that you're using on your hair, this is before you enter the pool. So wet your hair nicely and then put the hair mask. Make sure the hair mask is thick and it's you know it's not the runny kind of a conditioner uh, kind of a consistency it should be nice and thick uh, coat your hair nicely with that and let it sit for a couple of minutes your hair is going to immediately absorb it this will really really help your hair uh, initially when i started swimming it's been three months that i've been swimming now so my three month journey i have changed a lot and i wish i had known these earlier because i could have taken care uh, taken better care of my skin so initially when I didn't do any of this and I just went into the water without doing anything to my hair, it had become so dry and brittle. So these things have really helped me. So uh, once you're done putting the hair mask, leave it on for a bit like I said, then put on the swimming cap. Then the next part is your body. So because I use full swimming suit most of the days, I don't really have to worry much about doing anything for my arms and legs. I use only one uh, sunscreen all over my body. And uh, this is the one, this is the one, the banana boat. So I use this uh, sunscreen all over my body, <coughs> for my face, for my hands, legs, everything. Even on my lips, I use these. So this is the banana boat sport performance, uh, 50 plus SPF. It is um, uh, water and sweat resistant for 80 minutes. This uh, is 304 milliliters. I paid around 1700 rupees for this. I know it's 
quite on the expensive side but this is really good guys this is also almost the consistency of a hair mask it's really thick and it does take a little bit of uh, work to get it onto your skin which is why it's better you buy full length uh, swim swimwear because then you only need to worry about your hands and your feet and your face so uh, put these on your face and on your ears as well trust me the, one of the most irritating things is the itchy ear and it will itch you at night and when you're working and stuff like that it's really not it's really not a good feeling at all so uh, that was about the sunscreen part one tip that i would like to give you is swim in the evening because that is when the water is warm because the water soaks up the heat all day and uh, without the sun around you are definitely reducing skin damage so definitely choose um, a swim time after the sun goes down uh, the next point that i want to make is to take a shower i know a lot of people think you know we don't really give importance to the shower that you're supposed to take before you get into the pool but that is really important because uh, uh, what i read in my uh, research is that directly if your body is getting in touch with chlorine water as what the skin does is it absorbs right and it's going to absorb a lot more chlorine which is going to uh, cause skin darkening once you get out of the pool make sure you take a nice shower before getting into the pool uh, so that your body is you know already hydrated with lot of water drink a lot of water so that when you get into the pool you know i mean there is going to be damage but it's going to be very less and also when you get out of the pool you need to rinse off chlorine as much as possible a lot of people take bath uh, immediately after the uh, swim right in the changing rooms uh, i live very close by so i don't take a shower there i come back home immediately and take a shower once i'm done with the shower i come out and uh, i use body lotion on my body uh, on a regular basis i use the almond oil i use this bajaj almond oil because this is sasta and uh, you get a lot of it because you have to apply it all over your body generously and there is no cream out there which i have found till date that does the job i have tried uh, georgens vaseline nivea um, i even tried body shop ha huh? because but, but body shop is matlab financially is not viable solution for me i did find another cream it's called venusia i will insert a picture of it here it's a really good cream the problem is it's not available in bangalore it is available only in coimbatore if i'm not wrong so whenever i go there or somebody comes from that side and my family gets it it's a really good cream it too will wipe out dry skin immediately and it will keep it hydrated it's just that it's really expensive and the quantity that you get is not enough for your body so a couple of things that i just want to uh, uh, make some points regarding uh, skin care is one is refrain from doing uh, like really harsh things because what happens is the skin darkening and tanning is basically a skin defense mechanism to make sure the skin does not get stripped off all of its uh, moisture and uh, water so the more chemicals the more harsh you are to your skin it's going to get darker and thicker so uh, what you need to do is at all times make make sure your skin is hydrated and it is calm so uh, don't do too much of exfoliation don't put harsh scrubs and peel off and all of those kind of things do it once a week when you take a day off like i don't uh, i don't go swimming on the weekend so that's when i keep all my scrubbing exfoliation uh, peel off mask and all of that so you can do all of that but make sure your skin has had one day rest and when once you do the uh, you know exfoliation and all of that again it has one more day rest to calm down close all the pores come back to its normal state and then next day it's ready to go swimming again so guys i will see you in my next video uh, until then please take care like share and subscribe bye bye